Hello and welcome back to The Sims 4. Now in the last episode, we made a book titled How to Shit in the Woods, which I thought was fairly fantastic and hilarious at the time, and with any luck, is about to become a hit success. I also responded to a few of your guys' YouTube comments, one of which in particular was from Ali Crystal, who said to add an upstairs cinema, or a downstairs cinema, which I thought was a fantastic idea, however I couldn't work out a way of making the screen big enough. But thanks to a couple of you YouTube commenters going by the names of Zero Fusion and Emerald Emperors, who reminded me that I can actually resize objects using the resize cheat, which essentially is just using the two brackets to make things bigger or smaller, which now means I can make a cinema screen big enough to make it look realistic. So that's exactly what we're going to do now. So, first we need to find out a place to put it. Uh, oh, hello, and one of my cow plants is grown up. Hello. You're not looking hungry at the moment. It's probably best that I feed you. Wait, what? Rocco's at home having a shower and yet it says he's still at work. Excuse me. I cannot view this right now because Rocco is not here. I... I... I think he is. Wait, no, there he is. Look, he's just come out of the bathroom or whatever. What? Why? But it says you're still at work. You're not at work. You're right here. What's wrong with you, game? I must have bugged out quite horribly. Okay, well... I assume the next time he goes to work and comes back, he'll figure out that he's now at home. I don't even. Either way, somebody needs to feed the cow plants. So you're going to feed the cow plant whilst I find out where the hell I'm going to put a cinema. Now, I've got lots of space on the roof. Or, I was thinking, this area over here. I mean, if I made, like, a, a mini corridor. Or use the balcony. Come around here. Oh, that could work. Hold on. Hold on. I have a genius idea. Okay, so I've been looking around for a few areas where the cinema would go, but the best place, honestly, is on top of the greenhouse. As you can see, I've built a little balcony here, and they go down here, they go through this door, and into the cinema. Now, I've intentionally kept it dark because it's a cinema, and it's supposed to be dark. I will put a few tiny lights in there, but nothing too much. But now it is time for the moment of truth. Now, I've never actually used this cheat before, so I don't actually know if it's going to work. So that's the normal size of the TV, but by using the brackets, and I think it's like the arrow or something, or I, I don't even hold the phone. Hold on. Oh, hello. Okay, so holding shift in the bracket and... <gasps> oh my god. Okay, I think that's perfectly big enough for this room. Look at that. That is insane. <gasps> I'd love to have a TV that big. That's fantastic. And as you can see, I've also used... If I... Hold on. Oh god, I can't actually get rid of the TV. Okay. And as you can see, these aren't any old ordinary cinema chairs. No, 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 no. These are mansion cinema chairs. They are lavish, incredibly expensive... And I'm sure they are incredibly comfortable. So we're going to make a few rows of these. Uh, let's have them quite spaced out. Because again, it is a rich man's cinema. There's not going to be that many people in here. There we go. Should we make one more row? I think one more row. There we go. Just there we go. I'm also wasting a ludicrous amount of money making this. But again, I'm a millionaire now. Well, not a millionaire, but I am still quite rich. There we go. Look at this. I like it. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. By using the terrestrial saucer lights on the floor and the swimming pool lights on the walls, I've actually managed to make it look pretty authentic. I'm pretty happy with this. And that cinema screen is just to die for. Let me just turn on the channel. Hold on. Channel surf. Somebody. Mr. Bean, go look into the cinema. You will be the first tester. Come on, where, where's he gone? He's gone outside for some reason. Come on, come back inside. Come on. Here you go. Oh, and he's bored. This is fantastic. The perfect opportunity. Holy shit, that is huge! Oh, that's amazing. Okay, let me... F uh, hmm. Is there a movie network? Uh, not really a movie network, is there? Uh, I'll tell you what, just watch comedy for now. There you go. Oh, no, he's deciding to watch an action film. Okay, well, he's perfectly happy doing that. Will you go sit down? Enjoy the cinema experience. And they, those are the credits. Those are pretty friggin' weird credits. There you go. So he's there. He's now stuck in the cinema. That is... We are so going to wake up the neighbours with those speakers. That is insane. Okie dokie. Let us move on. And the ghost is getting into bed. What are you... Excuse me. What are you doing under my, that bed? Okay, so the ghost is now hiding under the bed covers. I don't quite know why, but there you go. It's a ghost. It can do whatever the hell she damn well pleases. Alrighty then. Oh, I also have a couple more YouTube comments to respond to. One from Noah Gist, who said I should make sure that Beth doesn't become overweight. Now, a couple of you will remember, there was a time that my Sim and Bella got incredibly overweight because I essentially just kept feeding them the cake. But don't worry, I intend to keep a good eye on their health this time. Now I know they can actually get fat from eating cake, I will definitely keep them all fit. 
And also from George Bishop. Kill Duncan at a party and have a dinner party. Dinner party is a fantastic idea for a mansion and I will definitely do that. And to kill Dominic. Now, he essentially used to be my crazy stalker. He always used to come knocking on my door at weird hours of the day. Um, and never used to leave me alone. But now I've moved house, I guess he doesn't actually know where I live anymore. Which is kind of good. But I intend to kill him in a horrible way. Hopefully I intend to kill him using my newly acquired cow plants who have all grown up. Holy hell. Apart from that one in the corner. You're a bit of a slow grower, aren't you? But that's okay. You're allowed to be a slow grower. Look at these. Oh, they're so good. And you're now out from hiding under the covers. Are you, are you okay? What does it mean when she's yellow? Is that a good thing? You're going to scare her. Don't scare her. She's a ghost. She's going to scare you. Tell her an unbelievable story. Or she's going to... What is she doing? Are you okay? You're going to sit down. Wouldn't you just fall straight through the thing? I don't even know. And they're all stinky plates. That is disgusting. Oh, and she's wandered off somewhere. Oh, and she's now on the computer. What could you... You're looking at your ghost emails. I didn't even know that was a thing. Where are you, don't go to bed. No, you're hungry. No, no, no. Treat yourself to some food. But what shall we make? Hmm. Chocolate chip cookies. I mean, they are unhealthy, but they are fairly delicious. Uh, an apple pie. Ooh, that's new. Let's cook an apple pie, shall we? That sounds good to me. And there's... And there's Beth looking as attractive as ever. I will definitely get her a partner at some point. But she's still a teenager. She's got, still got a lot of school to worry about and do all that good stuff. And she is currently standing in the way of the refrigerator, so if you could kindly move out of the way. Why am I just stood there? Cook an apple pie. Is it that hard to do? No, of course not. There you go. Open the fridge. Close the fridge. Mix all the ingredients together. Probably get your hands stuck to something. Even though... Oh, well, oh that's confidence, isn't it? Holy shit. That was actually quite impressive. I'm not going to lie. I'd love to be able to do that myself. Look at it! Oh, look at him! He is one hell of a chef. Oh, that is Aha! that is impressive. I, I'm yes. You sir deserve to be cocky. And he's just poured it into a slab. Oh, 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 oh! Hello, that is. Oh, <laughs> this is actually a joy to watch. Sister. Apart from where he just stares there and looks at it for a long time. Come on! He's just finished kneading the dough and now he's sticking it in the oven. Let it rise. And I assume he added the apple uh -huh. in at some point. Uh, and are those yachts? They're yachts. Oh my god, that's so cool. Can we go see those? I can't remember being able to go see those. But that's awesome. I live right next to the harbour. Oh, that's fantastic. And I reached cooking level 9. Whoa, look at that. That looks delicious. Apple pie. Quality good. Well, apparently it's not that good. But anyway, let me just stick you in the old thingy. Somebody just left the Capri salad everywhere. Let's put that inside there. Good oh. Alrighty then. That's better. I can now see my house again. Good. Well, he certainly seems to be enjoying it, so that's good. And he is working nine hours. So, did he do his intelligence research? He did indeed. So he could, at the end of this day, get a promotion. This excites me greatly. Excellent. So what does he need? He needs to be social and he needs to have energy. Now, a good way what the oh he's, she's gone back in her urn. There we go. She's gone back to sleep. Uh, what are you up to, my dear lady? You are quite good on all things. Now, I believe if uh, if we have sex, let's have sex in the rocket ship. Okay, so we're going to propose yeah. having sex in the rocket ship, and he she agrees. So we're going to go off. Excellent. And with any luck, that makes me feel happy and nice and social with everybody. And then we can quickly go get some sleep, and then go to work and get me a promotion. That would be lovely. School for Beth starts in one hour. Good oh. Now I'm not going to lie. For today's episode, I originally planned to go on the gallery. Now. Unfortunately, as you can see here, it says I am offline. I unfortunately don't have any internet connection at the moment, so I'm currently cut off from the outside world, which is a bit of a shitter. And it also means I don't know when I'm going to be able to upload this episode. So that's a thing. So apologies if there's any delays for this episode. It cannot be helped. BT, my internet provider, is being a bitch lately and will not give me an internet connection. And they're back already. Blimey, that was quick. And he's immediately gone to sleep. Don't nap. No, 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 no. That's a terrible thing to do. Go to sleep properly in your own awesome bed. There we go. Go on. I know you're tired, but I imagine you just have quite good sex. So, promotion anxiety. and I, I, Oh, it must have been fairly average sex then. Okay. Nothing to be worth noting. That's okay. Oh, hang on. What's this? There's nothing more exciting than some interstellar sex. <laughs> Fantastic. And what's this? Sleeping soundly. There we go. Sleep plus 10,000. That's a pretty big number. Okay. 
Bella is just walking around in a spacesuit casually. She's going to go to work as a spy who is posing as a... Where are you? Why are we sleeping in this so, so. bed? I don't even... What are you doing? You're, you're going to impress me with your video game Why? skills. I'm pretty sure I have better video game skills than you. But okay, whatever you say. So you go off and do whatever the hell you need to do. I... When is work now? Work is in five hours. Did you... Are you napping? You're napping again. I told you to sleep. You bloody asshole. Get in there. Sleep properly. There we go. Okay. Come on. Go in there. See, I have to supervise these sims every step of the way today. There we go. <gasps> oh, hang on. I've got royalties from my first book. How to Shit in the Woods is owed me 174 bucks so far. Oh, that is fantastic. How is Daenerys doing? She's good. And she is ready to make another book. Okay, so... You actually know what we're going to do is I'm going to set her to practice her writing. So next time she makes another book, she'll be even better and it'll earn me even more money. But if you have any suggestions for any silly names of books, please let me know in the comments below. I want these to be as ridiculous as possible. It could be literally anything, as long as it's vaguely amusing. Okay, so how do I write? Practice writing. There we go. So you write good out. And how is everyone else doing? Rocco is still at work, apparently. I mean, fucking, I don't actually know when he starts work. In reality, uh, when do you start work? Work starts in 22 hours. Oh, good. You're here for another day, and he is off limits. I can't even control him. That is a bummer, but okay. And what is Mr. Bean up to? Mm-hmm. Not quite sure. Somebody left an apple pie on the floor, you bastards. As well, somebody asked, what are you eating? You're eating the slice of apple pie that I just put in the fridge. That is very good of you. Let me just quickly throw that away. And would you like to help yourself to a pitch black... Is that just pitch black tea? Yeah, it's a tea machine. Well, it's very rare to drink tea to pitch black, but there you go. Have some tea, enjoy yourself. And why is everything broken in my house? I've got that speaker there. That speaker there's been broken forever. I've just been too lazy to repair it. But there's so much stuff in this house that it's just stopped working. That one up there, there that one there, that's broken. Any others that need repairing anything else at all in this house? That has decided that one there. Is that Yeah, that's broken as well. Yeah, repair that one. Every bloody speaker system in this house. Are you? I know you're still working. That's good. Anything else? Did I actually tell them to repair that one? No, that's good. Anything else? <gasps> All four of my cow plants have grown. Hello, you sexy. No, 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 Mr. Cowplant. No, that is never going to happen. Uh, who is? You're asleep. Do you need to be asleep? Okay, so after Mr. Bean has done that, you are going to feed all of my cows because otherwise they will try and kill me horribly. And I do not want them to kill any of my family. After everything I have accomplished, I don't want to be eaten by a plant. That's just a bit of a bummer. Alrighty then, Mr. Bean has finally finished repairing everything. Good. So we should have lots of piles of scrap, which I'm not going to seep through anymore. I'm just going to throw them away because I think I get more money. No, actually, no, I think it's just the same amount. But anyway, I can't be bothered. Okay, Attention. so you're going to feed him a slab of meat. Good. You there as well. You're trying to kill me as well. And you. You're all trying to kill me. What is this? This is madness. Feed him. Don't just wave. You need to feed him. Feed him. Don't eat the cake. Feed him. Yes, that's it. Oh, look at that delicious piece of meat. Yes. Ooh. Oh, you are a hungry little bastard, aren't you? That's it. You just keep that cake tongue of yours in your mouth, and everything will be okay. Okay, and for this last one, I'm feeling a bit cocky. Eat the cake. Mr. Bean will live. Yeah, of course he will. Oh, look at that delicious cake. And away he goes. <laughs> the question is, will he now be spat out, or... Oh, he is. Oh, thank God. There we go. Mr. Bean will now feel disgusting for the rest of the day, but it's worth it. It's funny to watch. And let's milk the cow. There we go. Come on, milk the cow. I know, I know you, you stink. You've just been eaten by a plant. But come on, milk the plant. That's it. Excellent. But what will I get this time? Essence of discomfort. That's. It's a shame to see you discomforted. But again, you are a giant murderous cow plant, so I don't really care. Now go and take a nice steamy shower. Fantastic. Okie dokie. So all my cow plants have been fed. That is good. Oh, what the hell is this? Hold the phone. Select a branch for Martin Worcester. Diamond agent. You've risen through the ranks and have unparalleled clearance. As a diamond agent, every mission is critical and no misstep forgiven. Rewards include the information database. $173 an hour. I work from 2pm to 10pm. And I work four days a week. That's pretty impressive. Or I could be a villain. Ooh. 
Your superior intelligence and training are too great to waste on doing good, so why not be the best among the world's worst? Rewards include the villain outfit. I mean, that again sounds pretty, pretty interesting. It's $191 an hour. I mean, hmm. I think, no, 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 no. I'm going to be a good guy. Mr. Bean is going to be the bad guy. I'm going to be the good guy. I'm going to be a diamond agent. I am. That's it. Spy captain. Ho, 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 ho. Uh, make an additional $95 an hour. I've unlocked a spy satellite. Holy hell, my next shift starts on Sunday at 2pm. That is fantastic. Hold the phone, but I've unlocked a spy satellite? I've unlocked... There you go, a spy satellite. A durable and fully functional satellite dish ready to capture radio and television signals from any sim in the world, and maybe even further. Oh, hello. I mean, it's quite tiny, so I'll put it in the DEF CON room. But this, this is pretty interesting. I like it. Okay, let me put it on this wall. I'll hold the phone. There we go. I now have a spy satellite. I'm not sure if it works indoors, but we're about to find out. And I also, I did spy something else. I've unlocked Star Seeker Original Blueprints. I mean, let me put those down somewhere, because they look pretty good. Let me whack them on a table somewhere. There we go. I'll put them in here, because they... Look at that. That's like blueprints for a spaceship. That's awesome. And I also unlocked the Portable Galaxy Light Show from being an astronaut. This looks pretty fun. Can I stick this in the main living room? Okay, so I'm stuck in the middle here, and let's see what it does. Turn it on. Oh. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Look at that. It's a whole solar system. That's awesome. Fantastic. Let me enable the... Oh, what's this? What, but what, what emotions does it provide? The object will give nearby sims moodlets based on its motion when its emotional aura is enabled. Okay. Well, there you go. I mean, that looks pretty cool. It looks pretty spy-like, so that's pretty impressive. That's good. Let's see what this thing actually does. Are you doing anything of any kind? View? I think it's just for visual effect but that's pretty cool so that's awesome lovely job now as i was about to say twice before getting rudely interrupted i have received and this is very exciting for me to say i have received my very first piece of fan art now this is from my very old friend called matthew kinsman but he is a fantastic artist now i couldn't remember if he said it was finished or not but it's too good not to show you guys so i'll stick it on the screen for you right now i hope you like it because i think it's fantastic so thank you, Matthew, for sending that to me. It has made my day. I'll definitely hang on a wall somewhere. Um, pride of place, because that is my very first piece of fan art ever. I, I feel honoured, really. Uh, even if it's from my friend, it's still, you know, he took the time to do that for me. I'm So, yeah, I, I'm speechless. Thank you. <laughs> I'm always terrible in these kind of situations. If anyone gives me a gift, I, uh, I always trip up over myself. But yes, thank you, honestly, from the bottom of my heart. That was, I love it. Thank you. Okay, let's continue on. Uh, I believe I saw one of my cow plants trying to kill me again. Mr. Bean, why are you sleeping in the cinema? Are you sleep? What? Hold the phone. Are we sleeping down here? What are you? No, you have a perfectly functional bed. Oh, you are weird. Let me just feed the cow plant. There we go. Alrighty then. So you're going to go ahead and do that. I am now a diamond agent. This pleases me greatly. What do I have to do? Daily task. Romance interactions. <laughs> so, <laughs> now I'm basically 007 from James Bond. I essentially just, instead of doing intelligence research, I have to do romance interactions. <laughs> oh, fair enough, fair enough. I can do that, no problem. He is asleep right now, but when he wakes up, we are definitely going to be romantic. Oh, yes, okay. Actually, they're both pretty awake now. Let's go ahead and be romantic. To celebrate, let's go... I know what we're going to do. Let's do woohoo. That's it. Woohoo with Bella Goth. Excellent. Yeah, go on. Are you mad, Moosh? There we go. To celebrate the fact that I'm a diamond agent, we're going to go off. I wouldn't follow us, Beth. I No, I wouldn't. Please don't follow us. No, this is, oh, this is, oh, this is about to be very awkward. No, don't. Don't listen to us. No, walk away while you still have a chance. Oh, God, we're making noises you're not supposed to hear. Go. Go away. Shoo. <laughs> go. Go. Far away as you can. Run. Run away. Clean that up. Clean. Throw away. There we go. And we're finished. And she witnessed everything. Uh -huh. Her face. She is now scarred for life. <laughs> oh, blimey. <laughs> that was unexpected. But there you go. Oh, oh, and stop trying to kill me. I knew this was a mistake. They're going to constantly try and kill me. Damn you, cow plants. 